The third piece of the frog profiles by Ernst Talk Opus 68 seems to be the most popular. There are several YouTube videos. It is the most accessible in terms of piano technique, uh, but also musically, um, it has a very memorable melody. It's it's just gorgeous. It's it's. Let's hear it. So, in the opening already, it just presents this noticeable musical motif of three notes, and it just keeps repeating itself. <laughs> And then this falling figure, figure. So the second time the thing comes back, the right hand is exactly the same as the opening, but the left hand is different. In the opening, it just falls after it reaches its summit. So do, be, do, 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 do. But in the second time, it goes. The yearning is even more intense. In, intense. So it has this really cathartic climax. It's open and satisfying, but followed by sort of shadow. It's, it's a very bittersweet uh, piece to me. And so how much to make of this climax and the contrast um, is up to the pianist. Um, you can underplay it. Make the crescendo. Do, 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 do. So I mostly made the uh, the crescendo and the climax on the top voice, or you can actually really be open and loud and expand, stretch the time. It's interesting, the whole piece feels pretty intimate, but he, serve, he saves pianissimo until the very last measure.